hello viewers uh, today uh, the topic of this video is that how you can plot in the matlab since the objective of this video is i am going to uh, discuss uh, basic plotting xy plotting which you can say the 2d plotting then some enhancement which i am going to discuss third thing is the specialized contour plots and other surface plot uh, is discussed in this video uh, special functions you can also use with, along with the plotting uh, to make a smart plots. Uh, the first in the basic xy plot, uh, you must know the main command is only the plot. The axis, grid, title, x, label, y, label, or save us is all the commands in which you can uh, you can just directly write in your codes uh, in order to save your time. Otherwise, their manual option is also there in the MATLAB. Uh, I'll start with the tutorials on the MATLAB, in which uh, firstly I have taken a x data in which the value of y is given. Since uh, x vector or y vector is given, so you you have x axis and y axis data is given. You just uh, use the plot command x y h is the variable on which this value is saved. You can save this value. Axis I have taken from zero to hundred and one to hundred in order to plot the data uh, entirely in, in this axis. X label I have chosen as a time, Y label is a temperature, title tem time and temperature and save and this graph or uh, this figure will be saved in this by the name results dot fig. If I run this figure you can see that output of this uh, graph is just like this and uh, if, if you want to change the font and uh, this uh, temperature size time and title size x label size you just click on this Th then you can manually uh, change the size of this uh, you can uh, right click on this the option show legend color font you can directly use font you can change the font to the times new roman whatever you want uh, the another option is is in the below x level you can time time you can change this to t y you can change this to theta uh, in the theta commands you have to write in latex if you wish to write theta in here you have to write in the latex otherwise it will not be the same so you can replace it by temperature uh, similarly z x is not there so no need to write this the default value is minus one to one it's okay the font you can also handle by this but if you wish to change the size of this temperature you click on this the same thing will appear you can change the font like times roman size 16 put enter okay then the similarly you can see that on the legend if you click on the legend there is option is line width you can change the width of the line this is actually four you can as thick as you want you can include the marker there is several markers you can use this is the diamond marker and similarly you can use star marker and you can even change the color another option if you want the more options to display there is a more property here you click on the more property the several options you can see here that camera target option you can just zoom it on the graph also coloring is there aspect ratio is there font angle there is several other things you can search here but this is for the advanced level if you want only the figure it is uh, you can this is sufficient you just go and save this figure uh, whichever the format you want like in a fig format in like jpg eps format portable format and whatever tip format which you want you can save it so this is uh, is manually handling of this figure but matlab can uh, do uh, several other things also like if you wish to uh, do this thing uh, automatically in the code so it means that you are just uh, want the code written such a way that this will thing appear automatically so this is your code and yes if you wish to change this is the symbols which you should uh, keep in in your mind this is already mentioned in the matlab tutorials if you just go and search this is b for blue green red cyan magenta there are several colors and this is for the marker size the d for the diamond v for the triangle and this is uh, three types of lines is only possible here so in order if you if you wish to make the several lines you have to uh, be separated 
through the markers otherwise there will be no option there is only the three different line versions are there dotter dash dot and dash version is there so if you wish to uh, change the plot and you want it to be uh, automatically this symbols or this color will appear on the graph you just uh, change the plot option here the plot is now uh, modified this command is modified with the double dash carry line width is 2 marker edge is k uh, marker face color is r g for green marker size is 10 so everything is automatically fixed now if i run this code you can see that instead of using this i going to comment it command shortcut command is uh, control r this is control t uh, then if you run this you can see that this automatically the uh, color graph with the diamonds on this with this you can see that k d d for the diamond k for the black color so black color with the diamond is appear on the graph so this is uh, this is for the automatic handling of or you can do that uh, if you don't want to do it manually you can just do it this now i quickly go through the other aspects of this uh, matlab and where the plotting is this is a very simple plotting if you use the plot command but sometimes you wish to uh, control the plots on, within the code like close command is there that if you write on the editor like editor close then uh, the, if the graph is open it will close close all command is close all the open graph in the middle of figure it, it will open the if you write the figure one it will open the figure one hold on command is a freezes the figure if you wish to plot several plots on the same figure just use hold on command then you will you can able to plot one by one legend is a, you can control the legend by mouse also refresh if you plot a graph if you wish to change you have to write a refresh otherwise the same plot will be appear then this last thing is important subplot subplot uh, command you can even plot many as many as plot on a one figure plot so i can show you this by example so uh, next there is a seven specialized plot is there like it can matlab can plot bar graph log log graph polar graph semi log graph stair stem several things you can plot it uh, through example i can explain you so this is example i have made a two different cells uh, you can execute the cell just by clicking it and execute current cell is option is there in this first i use a subplot command in which two cross two it means that two rows two columns is there and the first plot is the polar plot second plot is the semi log plot third plot is the semi log y plot and fourth is log log plot with theta this if i execute this you can see that if they execute this current plot you can see that's four this is two cross two it is just like a matrix two cross two matrix you just first graph will be the polar so it's theta exponential minus theta say other graph is for exponential so you can see the different versions of the exponential graph when the logarithm log scale is x axis here the log scale is y axis here both are in the log scale so this is uh, the one option and uh, second option is that if you, you you can even use star stair stem bar bar h graph this clf command is for close figure if the figure is already open it will close this pause command is that it will pause the code for a while until you click on the command window like if I run this, you can see that if I run this current current cell, you can see that here is written in uh, below uh, that press any key. If you wish, to, if you enter any key, then it will turn out that the plot will be there. So pause is that if you wish to stop the code anywhere, just for a one click. So next thing which I am going to discuss. Uh, with you this is the which i have discussed already next is, is the control plot so there are three different uh, co uh, codes or commands are available uh, in the matlab first is the control plot this is the uh, normal plot if you go for the 3d then you have to write 3 if you wish to rather than contour you want the field you have to write contour f and similarly there is a directional velocity plot just for the fluid persons they can uh, flow who deal with the wind flow they can they have to use this comet plot 
is just like that they are tracing the path of the curve so so uh, so, so this is the mod, uh, is very interesting commands available in the matlab quiver gives you the velocity direction feather will give you the velocity vectors so i am quickly go through these commands and i have chosen three or four commands to make you uh, understand like first i have used for the contour commands if i plot only the contour then it will give you just see that it will give you just i have to close it first then i run it uh, this contour plots is with this command contour then i put hold on it means that this contour is already hold on by this then quiver plot gives you the direction of this like this direction is is the outward and this direction is the inward this is just like a source point this is like a sink point so this is the interesting images you can even plot with the uh, with matlab so this is for the first and secondly quiver 3 is for the three dimensional plot if you run it execute current cell you can see that this this three dimensional plot you can just click on this it will uh, this plot can be controlled anyway this is the three dimensional plot which you can plot uh, plot with this matlab it will give you directions in three dimensions and this third one is the comet plot it just uh, if you have the if you wish to plot uh, which trace the uh, with time you can see that just run it and this comet this function which is called tan sin t minus sin tan t function is plotted with this comet command and they are tracing the path of this function this is just like that you are just see that how with time the value is is plotted on this similarly if you go for this comet 3d plot it is give you a in the 3d version of this plot you just run it you can see that the 3d version is now plotted with this so it is up to minus 5 it will take us time to go to 3 so i'll cut it so this is all about this and the feather and other commands is there you can just go and uh, try for it uh, then next thing for in the plotting is that yeah this is surface plot and most of people are using these plots uh, they are dealing with the 2d or 3d versions of this since so hidden is for the hidden lines in the mesh plot and the mesh command is this for the meshing the plot like if you uh, cut the plots in pieces this is called the mesh pick command is for two variables surface command is for 3d surface is for uh, matlab but uh, this try plot is uh, something interesting so if i start with this uh, try plot i have uh, some example because in try plot you have to write this command discuss del noy because this algorithm is used by the delno algorithm so if i run this plot uh, this uh, so you can see there's only two triangles this boundary is yellow uh, this is sorry uh, blue and this two triangles is plotted but if i start with this random uh, random command and then i use this so it's randomly generated the triangular elements on the entire mesh so if i uh, i run this you can see that this is triangle randomly generated triangular element on the entire mesh but but if you start with the 3d and this peaks and try surface command is i which i have used if you evaluate this you can see that 3d surface is generated using delnoy algorithm so this algorithm is that constructing the surface by triangular element because triangular is the best elements which you can use in order to construct the surface so this is about the surface or mesh plot you can just try the surface and peaks plot i already mentioned on this uh, on this code so uh, next which i uh, wish to discuss is the easy plot so this easy plot is just like that you are constructing the implicit function plot like sometimes uh, if you wish to plot any implicit function so i am in that like i have produced three figures first figure this second figure and third figure in the first figure i have plotting this 
so easy plot command is automatically uh, taken the values of x and y and give you the plot so you have to put it in the quotes similarly if you are using cos sign function you have to write at the rate cos at the rate sign no need to write x and y easy contour will give you the contour of this command with their with their uh, any fixed range of x and y you can see this on the graph if i run it you can see that for the figure one is automatically choose the range from minus six to six approximately this is for the graph one this is the implicit graph and second is the circle since this is the uh, implicit form of this x is equal to cos t y is equal to sin t uh, so you can see, see that x square plus y square equal to one is a unit circle so it, it is okay it's it's it only give the one radius so if you change the value 2 into this it will give you another graph so this is for the contour plot so this is contour for x e raised to the minus x square y square so so easy plot will give you need not to be give you any input they automatically take the uh, length of x and y and give you the plots so this is about is easy to use plots so and the next thing which i am going to discuss is this is all the commands which i have already used is the special things special things in the, in the you can uh, control the figures and their text automatically like if i start with uh, another code on this this function is f is equal to 1 dot this 1 to 10 it means that it will produce you the 10 values of f in which the first value of 1 is 1 by 1 second value is 1 by 2 third value is 1 by 3 automatically it will produce 10 values if we plot f so it will plot it will take x as 1 to 10 and plot it now what is this i wish to write f3 is equal to 0 0.3 so i take n is equal to 3 this is s printf it will plot on the graph f percentile 1d is representing the value of n is just like a c and this 5.0 f is a float d for the decimal it will give you the value at at some point on where, where f3 is equal to 0 0.3 at the location is this because i am using this text command text 3 comma f3 comma s so this s value have used and gives you the text output this d's text command is just like a you can see that when you run this code before this this is the cursor you can just click on this and where you click it this written thing will already win will paste it automatically on this you need not to be write anything by this your d6 command is interesting you can write anything but another option is that uh, if you wish to write on the graph there is option uh, available here uh, which is i can say that this is text box you can i, I you, you can use the text box and you have you can write on the text box whatever you wish to write and uh, on the right click there is a color of this edge color is this if you wish to remove the edge color you can make it white and you can write anything on the graph. this is another option so i am in, in this one i'm just saying the automatically handling of this uh, uh this uh, special commands on the plots so so attention if you like this video uh, then subscribe it and if you have any comments Please mention it below. Thank you. Thank you very much.